why you should use STM32. Hardware compatibility with other MCU of different series. For example, you can design a PCB that works both with an MCU from the STM32F4XX line and STM32L4XX, in some cases with some minor differences, which you can easily address when designing PCB. The migration between different MCUs is documented. Ease of PCB routing, pins of same port slash functionality is close together. A good set of peripherals, well it's not exactly a unique advantage this day, every MCU vendor tries to put good peripherals in one package. STM32L. When power consumption and CPU power are needed at the same time, ST wins the battle. Although there are good ones out there too, like the LPC Low Power Series, now Freescale, they do not have the set of peripherals that STM32L can provide. It has many modules and variants, usually, you can find one that does what you need. Distribution is plentiful and the prices are very good. There is very good support from third-party firmware libraries and operating systems. The ST design tools themselves are very nice. Compared to T, which has a draconian IDE that must do all. SD supports a lot of different tools and you can more easily architect the firmware how you want. In particular, it has the best low power models in the Cortex MMCU space. Other manufacturers rely on DC DC converters to improve datasheet power metrics, ST does not. So it's super common in wearables and other low power devices.